Anybody know what kind of tree this is? Because this tree and the same one next to it right here have had butterflies on it all morning, all day. It's about one o'clock guys, just waiting for none to show up. She's gonna cruise on over and then we're gonna get on the bus. So the place we're going is called Seno on the minivan and then on to Baxe, that's the plan. I'm not pushing it because we have uh, some issues we're dealing with and taking antibiotics and I don't know how how it's gonna go sitting on the minivan, but let's we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. So she just brought me here to this other bus station. It's at kilometer three. And this is where you can get the bus to Suwana's Kid. And uh, that's the same bus that will drop me off at Seno. Or this minivan anyways. And then I can continue on to Paxe instead of taking the sleeper bus because yeah, I'd rather take a minivan if we can. Usually they're faster. And then you're not just cramped laying down. But uh, let's give it a shot. I've never been. It looks very small and suspect. <laughs> oh man. Okay. We're done. So good. She's lovely. Super helpful since I've been here. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man. No aircon. Lord have mercy. I sit here? I gotta find a spot where I can like throw my leg underneath. <laughs> I highly doubt I'm gonna have this whole seat to myself. I'm trying to like throw my leg under the, my right leg under the chair so that all my weight's kind of you know. I found that the best way to the only way to sit without it pain from putting too much weight on one side is to kind of do like a, a split so this the weight's still like centered. Otherwise you just get How <laughs> เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อ
We got no stinky stuff up here. We got no chickens. We got, we're doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I asked who he's taking it to sell it, but I think he's just, you know, that's his duck. <laughs> it's not noisy, so maybe it is his pet duck. <laughs> it's pretty well behaved. So we stopped at this door shop. Have different designs. These are nice, heavy wood doors. We're loading them into the back. All kinds of different designs. I'm gonna walk inside and show you the different designs because you can't see them from right here. They won't mind. Hi, Boone. We have different designs. Boom, 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 boom. How nice. I was looking at the dragon one, it's like, I want to show this, this on your door. How much is it? Is that a price? I don't know. It's a four, four million. Wow. You think it could be like 200 bucks for these doors? I don't know. I've never priced out and built a house, so I don't know what kind of price it is. No finish on them though. Like, on um, these ones, they're probably not finished. This one looks like it's finished. Should probably not touch. It's not mine, right? <laughs> How nice. This one's got like elephant, carnival kind of scene. Interesting. What is this? Peacock? 1.5 million. It's pretty cheap. This is cool. more like Chinese with the fish. Oh, don't tell me that the driver's in there. Okay, the driver's not in there. I don't want to run and jump on the, like run the bus down the road. Oh, these are nice. Like flower pattern. I don't even know if anybody can see patterns in the video. It looks like you, you can tell. I hope so. Nice. All right. Let it on. Now we're jumping on. I want this seat as soon as I can. I got to get a different seat. Need to high enough. Oh, now move back here. Oh, it's a nice one. Really? Been fee. Oh, I'm gonna sit up here. You know, one thing I do absolutely love about Lao and Lao people that I find just convenient compared to back home is that people aren't weirded out by you know everyday things that happen to you you can talk openly like you got a rash you got something going on with you and people are just totally comfortable and helpful about it and accommodating usually and not grossed out like back home you would just keep it to yourself wouldn't you like, uh, I guess maybe it's polite but at the same time it's just kind of nice to be honest you know it's like and then you don't feel awkward if something is wrong with you. You just ask somebody. You know, like back home, you, you don't even want to ask nobody because you're like, this, you don't know what's going on and it's weird. But yeah. Long son, Taylor, I know. You're so curious. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking to his his auntie. 
is that a falafel? She's like, so polite, like, saying, oh, I'm so sorry, I can't believe he'd say, <laughs> he'd say that. It's like, I don't mind, you know, it's normal out here. Yeah, I'm a foreigner, it's okay. Wow. It started to rain. A little heavier than just a sprinkle. Still got the windows open. <laughs> no rain's coming inside. <laughs> oh, it would not be possible to make this trip at any other time of year, I don't think. It is so nice. With the rain cooling it down. And well, I just realized something. I wasn't looking for solutions. I was focused on the pain. And when you look for a solution, you find one rather than just worry about it hurting. I can stand up with you. I can stand up the whole time. So silly. Can I not? Up to now. Made it to Seno. And they said that the. Uh, I asked them, said that Q-Lot is just across the street. So let's not get in over. Where are we? Going to the city of Uthumphorn Ban Sai Udom Said the Q-Lock Man Thang Nino It said that the bus station is this way Or the yeah, Bus station I see it Awesome Man, what time are we gonna get to? I'd say it's already four, past four. And yeah, it took like two and a half, three hours to get just to say no and Foxy is much further down the road. So let's see what we gotta do here to get the bus or the van or whatever. Foxy. Nobody here. Okay. We asked this lady, uh, I want some fruit. We'll get some food and stuff because it's gonna be a long journey. But first, I need to buy the ticket. So we'll wait for the we'll wait for the attendant to come out of the bathroom. It's a race. These, these ladies are all running over to the truck over here. Typical. Anytime there's a place you can sell something, you gotta take the opportunity to quickly sell. <laughs> Jump on the bus or come and quickly sell some stuff to people passing by on the truck. Hey, it works. Well, I hope this is our solution right here. St. Julian Konsum Lesan. So, St. Julian Transportation Sur Service. Lotuduan Pisa, special van. Fast van, urgent, whichever you want to call it. Special fast van to from Seno to Napong, Napong, and then to Pax Paxay. It's at Q Q Lot at bus station at kilometer two, and it's leaving at 1:30, 3:30, and 5 o'clock. Well, perfect. It's 4:20. Good luck. Bye, Paxay. Good luck. Good they said that there's no more 
No more bands. Moon, moon, Simit, lot to you, boy. Jamon Sao, boy. Hop that it. Well, shit. There says it like there's the vans at like seven and nine in the morning. Damn it. Now we're stuck in fucking Sano today. Shit. I'm gonna be keeping any of this footage. I'm losing. I'm fucking not, not happy right now. I was told to come here and we can get a van to the next place. But Lana? Meet that cute uh up there. I'm gonna ask somebody else because that guy was like in the bathroom forever. Don't really really didn't seem to want to answer my questions, so that was annoying. But uh yeah. He was like leaning back in his chair getting out a cigarette and not even like not trying to help me at all. Great. Thanks, brother. All right, I'm going to get some food or something and then sort out what I'm gonna do. Well, now you guys know. If you're trying to get a bus or a van to Sano, from Sano to Paxe, you're not getting one unless you're doing it in the morning. Check out the bus station one more time, see if like, I, maybe I look out, a van would come. See if anybody had any other information, nothing new. So, I'm going into the city. Let's see if this Samla driver will take me in. ที่สำหรับครับที่สำหรับครับอะไรบ้างได้บ่ได้บ่ใช่ไหมอ่าอะไรก็อยากพาล็อกมึงบ่ได้บ่ใช่โน่แมนแล้วใครก็บ่เค
This is made when the French were here. <laughs> well, so here we are, and this is just a this cannot really be it. Just this little thing is still here. Onion, <laughs> no? About 70, 80 years old, he thinks. Good night, Hannah. Me con you, the king. The king, me con you, you. Oh. Okay. Oh, look at that. 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 Now, Thomas, I'm going to go. 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 I'm base installation he's saying so there's really like nothing here as far as nature <laughs> it's just a dry flat area which yeah it, it, you look at the map it is uh, so let's go look in the city learned that they stopped doing the afternoon and evening trips from Seno to Paxe what is that that looks delicious Maybe they do have a really spe special recipe of their own here. Let's give it a shot. Nankindi. Nankan. Sit down. Well, I invited Mac to join me for some food, but he's over there helping his friends working and stuff, so. Here we are. We've got pink eyes, seno, and some tamahin. This is the first thing that comes to mind if I ever think about food. And also they give us some gel. What kind of gel? Mm. Good gel, shit. That's good. Spicy. But everything. Mmm. Okay. That's a good recipe. Mmm. 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 Carabon. A lot of peppers in there. I didn't tell him to take it easy on me, so <laughs> let's see. Oh, I can actually do it better than I thought. <laughs> Why have I been filming so terribly? Hmm. Thank God. They took mercy on me. I look spicy, but it's not. Or I'm getting used to things. Typically, when I order, I don't order things super spicy. I either say make it how you normally make it for a lot of people, or if I've been there before and they their normal way of making it is extremely spicy, then I'll tell them to put less spice in for me. Let's have some more. I can live on this. Mm -hmm. Because it's like tastes homemade, very yummy. Mm. This is the benefit of going to a proper binkai place because they usually not only have their own recipe for the chicken, but also, of course, the salsa. It's definitely dry because it's very grilled. Not like the rotisserie chicken that's really juicy. Excuse me. I'm gonna finish this and go back and edit a video for you guys. Well, 
I got a room here in Sano, right next to the bus station or slash what looks more like a truck stop. We're gonna sleep here guys and uh, catch the bus in the morning. Unfortunately, we have to admit sometimes when you have a less than fortunate travel day and today was one of those where I'm not gonna lie. That, that uh, <clears throat> Sam Law ride was an absolute waste of money. But uh, I couldn't, I didn't have the heart to negotiate with them. And this is why every single day that I'm in Lao, I am wondering how the people are making it, how they're making by. It doesn't make sense. The numbers don't add up. And uh, we stopped at the guy's house for him to get shoes. And, and I saw his family. And, and f I don't know. For me, it's just, yeah. I asked him to take me around. He took me out to the middle of nowhere to see a stupid building. The last thing I, he could have, he could have taken me to some field and been like, this is the, the special viewpoint of the sunset here in this city for whatever reason, I would have been more impressed than a stupid old building like that. So yeah, uh, it took me all the way out there and there was nothing, nothing. And then uh, he didn't join me for dinner and was taking pictures of me. Didn't ask to take pictures with me, uh, which is usually, you know, a lot of it was just, it was just weird. And then, and then uh, asked for 200,000, which is what, eight bucks? A little over eight bucks, mostly just a waste of my time. Cause uh, yeah, I mean, unfortunately I asked him to take me around. I should have been more specific. I told him to take me around the city, which he literally did take me around the city, but I should have been like, can you take me in to look around in the city? Cause we, and then he said we was gonna go to a, like a, a grilled chicken place. And we ended up just like right back here at the truck stop and yeah, like okay. When he asked for two hundred thousand, I pretty I pretty much knew I was getting to get a higher number. So I feel like the people here need it. So even though that's a whole another night stay at a at a guest house, that's a whole another more than a motorcycle rental for a whole day. <laughs> we want to give back to the people because they they really do need it. So help me out. Give it a like. Give it a share. Leave a comment. We'll make plenty back from from this and we just continue to pay it forward, you know, and not worry about negotiating or haggling too much and help these people out here.